I've been using Blender throughout my two degrees of architecture and now professionally in my design studio. It's an incredibly powerful software that can be used from 3D modeling to VFX and animation, but is it the best software to learn if you're just getting into ArcViz or even as a seasoned professional trying to make the absolute most out of the software you can use? I'll be going through the pros, cons and real world applications of Blender and then Corona with 3ds Max so you can make the best informed decision to sync your time and really learn and get good at the specific software. Just for some context, I've been using Blender for about four years now throughout my degrees in architecture and also in my design studio now, so I have a pretty good understanding of the strengths of Blender. Over time, I've also used software like Octane, 3ds Max, Unreal Engine and also Cinema 4D, so I have a pretty good understanding of where Blender and all the other software kind of work well together and what might be best for your needs. But out of all of them, I've found Blender to be the most versatile software, especially with such an active and encouraging community. Now let's talk about the heavy hitters, 3ds Max with Corona. There's a reason why 3ds Max is the industry standard and it's most widely used within big ArcViz firms where they do massive complex projects. And that's because the tools within 3ds Max are really versatile and they're just really reliable to use. In the ArcViz industry, Corona with 3ds Max is becoming the absolute favorite because of how easy it is to use and the end result is just really, really beautiful. And this setup is most widely used for large skyscrapers and even really intricate interior designs. One of the standout features of 3ds Max is its ability to handle large complex scenes without breaking a sweat. If you're doing a large city scene with a lot of landscape elements, it just seems to handle like really really heavy scenes really well. It's optimized for projects that require high detail and scale, which is exactly why most ArcViz firms rely on it. In contrast, Blender can really struggle with these massive files and it seems to not handle larger scenes as well as 3ds Max. So that's just something to bear in mind if you're looking to do bigger projects with skyscrapers or if you're just looking to do smaller projects, that might be okay for it. Now, while Blender might not be the first choice for a big ArcViz firm, it has some massive advantages if you're a small team or you're just working solo for yourself. Blender is incredibly versatile, which is perfect for if you're like a furniture designer or you do small interior jobs or even just single house or a few different house renders. It's absolutely perfect for that. The fact that it's open source means that it's continuously evolving with the help of the community along with the developers. One of my favorite parts of Blender is the abundance of plugins and custom tools which you can find on Blender Marketplace. I even have some there myself. It's an incredible ecosystem which provides solutions for almost anything that you want to achieve. Blender's open source model is one of its strongest assets. Not only is it free to use, but you can find countless plugins to add features that might not be in there out of the box. Some plugins automate features like UV mapping, animation, and material creation. Plus the Blender community is incredibly supportive and we're always innovating and coming up with new techniques for achieving what you wanna achieve. You'll find a wealth of free tutorials on YouTube like my channel or even on Reddit, you can ask questions and people can help you with your custom kind of solutions. And if you wanna to try to figure out how to make something that's really challenging, people can work together and create something amazing. In many ways, this community's turned Blender into a ever evolving toolbox. And it's something that I appreciate learning the software and as a design professional now. Now let's talk about learning. For beginners, Blender's steep learning curve is a massive hurdle. It's no secret that Blender is hotkey heavy and that can make it really challenging to learn as a beginner. However, it makes up this challenging learning curve with the countless tutorials on YouTube for almost anything that you'd wanna learn. And as long as you're committed to learning and putting the time in, there's no limit to what you could achieve with Blender. Contrast this with Corona and 3ds Max, it might be really easy to learn initially, but there's actually not many free available sources on YouTube. Quite often these courses are paywalled, 
Um, and that's, that's just what I found was a massive barrier when I was trying to learn. It's just really hard when you're not making money as a professional and you're just trying to learn. Um, it just doesn't really make much sense, especially if you're a student on a budget. Cost is one of the most important factors for both students and professionals. Blender is free and that alone is a massive draw for people wanting to start out working independently. For professionals this can be a game changer because software costs can quickly eat up your profits, especially if you're working for yourself or if you have a small design studio. Meanwhile, 3ds Max and Corona come with a massive licensing fees which can be a big challenge for design professionals and small studios. For large studios, this is something that they can more comfortably include in their overhead, but if you're just starting out, this is something that you really want to consider carefully. Another aspect to consider is usability. With 3ds Max, the UI and CAD integration makes it really easy to take an architect's FBX or you know their 3D file and actually bring it in and render it. On the other hand, Blender's interface makes it a little bit easier if you're coming from a product design, animation or even game design background. Blender's integration with Grease Pencil makes it a really unique option if you're looking to do more stylized or artistic renders. The Archivist industry is constantly evolving and while 3ds Max and Corona are dominant, Blender is quickly gaining traction. With its fast paced development, new features and constant improvements, artists and studios are beginning to see Blender as a viable option. And as Blender continues to grow, who knows, we might actually see this become more prominent in the ArcViz industry. So should you go with 3ds Max and Corona or is Blender actually the better choice? If you're aiming for a career in a large ArcViz firm with big commercial projects, it might be actually worth it to sink time in and money and really learn and get good at 3ds Max and Corona. However, if you're a student or a freelance and you're working on smaller projects, Blender is an amazing cost-effective choice with a very strong supportive community behind it. And if you're keen to give Blender a go, you can check out my free full beginner courses on my YouTube channel. You can also join my free Discord and check out my Instagram if you want a little bit of inspiration and you want to see what Blender can actually do. Subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.